more. Hey, welcome to the Catboy Rants. Um, sorry, this is my drinking hat. I'll get into something a little bit more comfortable. Give me a second. Um, today is going to be a little bit different. Um, one, notice a different change of shirt, different change of hat. Of course, you saw the drinking hat. And alcohol's here for a very important reason. I just finished Twilight Breaking Dawn. God, if you, if you have not seen this movie, don't. Please don't. I mean, it's... it's a... <laughs> I've got something in my front pocket for you. Why don't you reach on in my pocket and see what it is? Then grab onto it, it's just for you. Give a Only reason I watch these things... I mean, the movie, just make fun of it. But they take the fun away from it. And a lot of you are thinking, Ken, why didn't you see it in theaters? Well, I don't want to spend eight, ten, twelve dollars to see something I know I'm going to hate. It's a little silly on my part. Um, I'd rather go ahead and red box it. Uh, now, there's some other movies out there that I have red box today. Um, Wreck-It Ralph, which I am saving to watch with my wife tonight, but uh, she hates Twilight, and so do I. So I thought, hey, I'll watch it now while I'm doing some housework, got the room all cleaned up, you know, and then started watching it, and uh, old friends kind of came out. Mother-in-law got us this. It was full when we got it. Spoonie thought crack and rum was the way to go. This is full too. So, you know, just drink it a little more. First thing I want to go ahead and go ahead and talk about with these actual abominations that are known as movies. You know what they're actually deemed after, and that's, of course, the tweens, uh, which is all right, you know. Heck, I remember watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first, the second, and the third one, is all thinking, holy shit, this is awesome. I watch them now, and I go, this is still good, this is still really good, but I'm really glad they didn't throw in, like, romances in there. I mean, there was a few in the third one, but this whole thing... I mean, she just doesn't know how to close her mouth. It's just... <laughs> all the freaking time. And then you've got Pancake Head, old Cedric Diggory over there, who's just deciding to go ahead and be the most lamest vampire out there. I mean, hell, I was happier when I got to see the other vampires. No, really. When I got to see that there was other vampires who had special powers, it's like, wow. Who the fuck are these guys? They do jack. I mean, we are children all the time. No. You're not. You're fucking vampires and you're stupid. drink away the it's working some other movie I can't remember just do it oh crap came back okay first thing I want to bring up is of course I watched the first one watched the first I watched all of them okay and I gotta say through the whole thing I was rooting for her to die 
more than anything, and when I mean her, I mean Bella Swan. Um, two reasons. One, you could see, that, see there was a bromance going on between Edward and Jacob many times, you know. Now, of course, they couldn't stand each other, but give them a weekend in a tent, alone, on top of a mountain, while they're herding sheep or cattle. They might have some fun. Let them be together for a while. They'll all forget about old Miss I can't shut my mouth anymore. But just think, some things I couldn't really wrap my mind around for the whole thing. I mean, nobody in town knew that the Cullens were, you know, vampires. It's like, you know what, Mr. Cullen? You look quite familiar. I mean, my great-great-grandfather said he met a guy named Mr. Cullen who looked exactly like you. I bet that he would be your great-grandfather. No! Or all the little unexplained things. I mean, I've gone walking through the woods. I'm, I'm from Washington State. For those of you who don't know, I'm from Washington State. Yakima, Washington. I'm from the Yakima Native Reservation. I'm currently in Yakima. Not Yakima. I mean Yakima. Not Yakima. Yakima. Yakima is the city. Yakima is the tribe. So, guess what? Fucking hate these movies. I'll tell you why. First, you go into Forks, Washington. It doesn't look anything like that. In fact, it was actually filmed around Portland and Vancouver, Washington. Uh, Portland, Oregon, Vancouver, Washington. Great places to go. Fun to hang out. I've been to both. Been to a couple conventions in there. Been to KamuriCon, the biggest anime convention in Oregon. And one year was in Vancouver, Washington, so we couldn't really say it was in Oregon. Um, so I've been to those places. I've seen some of the places that they've been to. And i got to tell you, uh, no, no. Yes, it's a very picturesque, very beautiful scene, and I love those scenes. I love seeing the landscape, the mountains, the whole thing there. But once you bring in Miss... and Mr to fuck up the whole scene. Just get them out of there. I mean, this whole thing. I, I, Stephanie Meyer, I'm sorry if, if you ever, granted you'll never ever probably see this, but if you ever, ever, ever see this and you hear me just badmouth freaking Twilight about this, I've never read the books. So all of you out there that are going like, you're hating on the movie. You haven't read the books. I haven't read the books. You know why I haven't read the books? Because I don't want to. I have Jim Butcher. <clears throat> Freaking prison files. They've got vampires in there. Look, they've got wizards. They've got everything. They've got jack squat everything. And I love it. You know why? Because it's good. The hero is not this. Hello, my name is Harry Dresden. And I'm awesome. No! No! He's... I am Harry Dresden. Shut the fuck up. If you get in my way, I will beat the hell out of you. But, I won't kill you. However, if you need help, I will probably help you out. Just shut the hell up sometimes. And that's fine. That's what I love about him. And everything I see from the movie, it's just like, My name's Bella. I need a man to save me. My name's Jacob, and I love you. Even though, of course, you don't love me. We've been good friends all of our lives. I'm in the friend zone. Hi, I'm I'm Edward. That's it. That's the whole thing. Yeah, you can say in the first movie it was the love triangle. Second movie, I'll get love triangle with the I can't be with you. Third movie, this is the third movie. Fourth movie. Yeah. And this final, the last two movies, last two movies, it was, I got married, but I still kind of like you, Jacob. Well, that's kind of all right, but you know what? You're leaving and you're going to be a vampire, and if he turns you into a vampire, you're technically dead and will kill all of them, including you. Which doesn't make sense to me. And then she comes back and she's pregnant because they had the sex. 
which was funnier than she, I'm sorry, I love that scene. Not because it's gratuitous, it's because it's fucking hilarious. You got him breaking the headboard, which all of us guys who have ever gone through, like, our wedding night, wish we could do that. However, it'll never happen. Believe you me, we can try all we want, it'll never happen. Unless, of course, we accidentally kill our partner. <sighs> Bella doesn't get killed because he's holding back, so he's kind of crushing that headboard. Uh, she keeps on egging him on, going, Go! Take me! Come on! You can do it! Uh -huh. Yeah! Yeah! That's just wrong. I mean, it's nice, but he kind of holds up. And I understand he's kind of, you know, let her know that he doesn't want to hurt her. And those of us who have actually read a lot of the Anita Blake series, yeah, that's that's a good thing, because sometimes, you know, you could go ahead and start going after a lady, vamp out, rip out her throat, or if you're a werewolf, wear out and just bite her face off. And other times, if you're really well endowed, which for some reason everybody in Anita Blake series is, um, you could really easily just bust right through the lady. I don't think Cedric Diggory here has that kind of, you know, I think it's more or less, I don't know, I don't care to know, all I know is that it's her first time, and as far as we know, and it's just that. But I love the scene, because they break the bed, the help come in, and they look at the bed, and they look at them, and you can see what's going on in their minds. It's like, this guy is really, really strong, and he must have really fucked her hard. And the guy's like, damn it, I gotta rebuild that bed. That's what I'd be saying. I'd be like, fuck, I gotta go and get the bed all fixed for them tomorrow night. Why? He's just gonna go in there. He doesn't sleep. Every time he shows up with his family, they're like, ah, 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 we don't go out during the day because we all, all go shiny, shiny. And that's, of course, everybody's wrong. And they're demons. They're demons. Demons! They're worse than, than... Count Chocula. That's what I want to see. I want to see a fucking, fucking movie of Count Chocula. Okay? He's gonna come there. Blah! I'm going after you, and I have the need for chocolate. Blah! Why? I am a vegetarian vampire. I only eat animals. Really? Yes. Only eat animals. It's awesome. You're still sucking blood. You're still sucking blood. Yeah. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. Because the, the, I saw the last one. And <clears throat> I gotta say, cock tease. Last battle? Okay. Spoilers. Now. The thing that happens at the end of the second movie <clears throat> is they all line up, get ready to fight. You're thinking, holy crap, this is going to be awesome. Or at least mildly amusing. And uh, they line up. Everybody's like, okay, oh, she's a little girl. And he makes that ah! noise. Yeah, the, the head of all the Venturi, the, the, evil, va the evil vampires. He makes a little noise like, ha ah! ha And if, if I was with my child and I saw a man make that noise, first thing that would happen to me is, you come here, we call cops, and cops come and take him away. Because he probably has a van that's marked free candy on the side in spray paint. Yeah. So, excuse me, need another nip. Okay. 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 What happens next <coughs> is they all go back. Looks like it's going to be a big old battle. And 
Here comes Alice, the one that can, you know, read minds and all that stuff. She comes up. She goes up and she says, I will go ahead and give you witness. Takes He takes her hand and goes, hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. And she goes, you don't really care, do you? Which, he, remember, he just went, ah, after he saw the little girl. So, yeah, he doesn't really care. So, she turns to Bella, tells him, run, go, do it, Planet Alpha. And Planet Alpha goes into effect. Jacob and little, I'm not going to call her her name. I'm really not. I'm just going to call her little half-vamp. The vamp excuse me, the vampeel. I'm going to say the vampeel goes. And... <clears throat> She goes with Jacob, riding Jacob like a horse. You pervs, stop that. Anyways, they take off. Um, battle happens, a lot of things. Carlisle gets his head decapitated, and it's kind of a shock. Myself, I was like, wow, that's kind of awesome. A lot of other people die um, in, in, in neat ways. Wolves get killed, and actually, I'm kind of feeling more for the wolves than anything else. Um, I, I don't really care about the the vampires. I mean, there are some last minute, I think you're cute, I want to be with you, even though, of course, you'll let your sock my junk. Um, but, it's alright, you know? Let's just go that way. So, they have the battle, a lot of people die, and then they get Mr. Ah! They get him, tear off his head, and they light him on fire. The end. I'm like, wow, okay, but cool it. Okay, that was just Alice telling him, hey, this is what's going to happen. Now, I'm all for that whole dream sequence thing, you know, where you tell the, the character goes through the, all this stuff. T turns out it's actually, that was all a dream, but it was very, very close to it. I mean, Final Destination did a really good job. The first one, not the remakes or anything like the first one, did a really good job in saying, hey, you just had a vision, saying that you're going to die. That's it. That's all it was. Really good idea. Other movies have done it as well. <coughs> I mean, look at Donnie Darko. That was one big just, if this happens, this is what else will happen. you got to make that choice. Well, she showed, it, that's what it is. Alice just showed him, this is what's going to happen. You're going to get killed. They're going to get killed. A lot of people are going to die. And it's all because you want to be a little dick, mister. <gasps> So he basically tells everybody, you know, oh, we're not going to do this. And there's a few guys that are like, come on, come on, man, we can take him. We can do it. And he's like, no, no, no. No, no, my head's coming off. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get my head ripped off. It's a bad thing. I don't want that. And everybody's like, but, 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 but we came out here. To, we came so far. We want to kill him. And it's like, no, 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 no. We won't. We won't. We'll, on the way back, we'll stop in Buena, Washington, and we'll just lay waste to it if, if somebody else hasn't already done it. Good luck. Um, yeah, so that's how it really goes. Uh, the ending is that they tell her, look, we just want to let you know she will not have any problem with becoming, you know, being what she is. And they're like, well, what, what, you have no proof of that. And she goes, oh, well, I've got proof. And here comes this guy and this lady. And they go up there and he says, I am a half-human, half-vampire. However, he, he, he's supposed to look from the Amazon. I, I didn't think he looked like from, he was from the Amazon. He looked like he was from, like, South Beach or from Jersey Shore, you know. The, come on, dude, come at me, bro, kind of thing. But he didn't look like he was from the Amazon. I mean, the... Yeah, I'm not going to get into it and it'll sound wrong. Um, especially with as much as I've had, had, had to drink. I don't want to go on to it. So, uh, it's getting to me. Um, so, they show up and they say, ask him, well, how old are you? And he goes, I am 170 years old. I'm not going to go by that because I can't remember... I was just kind of going, is the movie over yet? I'm 170 years old. And they're like, well, when did you reach maturity? That's like saying, dude, when did you first have sex? 
When did I reach maturity? Well, let's see, I got pimples, and I got, like, my voice kind of went like this. When did I reach maturity? He goes, I reached maturity at age of seven. Seven years of age. Wow, really? So, I'm glad he said he was 170, because, you know, it'd be kind of weird. I grew, grew to maturity at seven years of age. How old are you? I am now 18. Good for you. You're still 18 years old. No, you're 170. Wow, that's kind of cool. So, wait a minute. We're in little, little, ha little vampire over there. She's going to probably age to about seven years old, and then she's going to look like she's 20. But Jacob is going to age normally. I mean, we don't... They haven't really shown how fast werewolves age. I mean, I would think that since their bodies heat up more, they would maybe age, you know, at least normal speed for human. So even though Jacob imprinted on this girl, which they bring this up in the movie, they say, no, it doesn't mean what you think it means. And then he still gets thrown out of the house, which everybody else is... I, I'm, I'm sorry, when I first heard the whole imprinting thing, I'm thinking, okay, you see all those people over there? They're imprinted on that person, and they're having fun over there, and they're kissing, and they're hugging, and they're holding each other, which more than likely means they're in together. Which, <clears throat> stop me if I'm wrong here, would mean that Jacob wants to kiss, hug, fondle, you know, to little vampire girl. That's just sick. But maybe, you know, he's, he's like, well, I, I saw an idea of her when she was 20. She, she's seven, but that's the age of maturity. No, no. So, yeah. Um, anyways, back to it. Yeah, that's, that's what got me. Was Jacob is going to age normally. She's going to live forever. And he's going to die, and she's going to be like, Oh, my poor Jacob, I imprinted on you, and now you're gone forever. Oh, that's so sad. What will she do? I mean, they did say in the movie, this is why we don't bring children over. Because once they act, they don't have the maturity for it. Well, okay. Think of a person who's just lost their loved one. I mean, they even brought it up in the fight scenes. Um, they said, look, you just killed my mate. I'm going to kill you. And they would rush into battle and they'd get themselves killed. Or they'd kill a bunch of people. I mean, that's just how it was. Think how she's going to act. And let's give him a good 120 years, just, you know, for that. You know, she's going to be like, Oh, Jacob, you're 120 years old, and but you're dead. So now it's time for me to go, too. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. It's got to be this way. I'm so sorry. But not with, you know, that. You know, it's my gun. Gotta have a weapon. <clears throat> we gotta have that and a screwdriver. Gotta have that, just in case. Um, but yeah, uh, he's gonna age, he's gonna die, and she's gonna be left alone. And if they go with what their whole, you know, thing about werewolves is, I mean, she's going to be alone for a while until everybody gets over that whole, you know what, I think werewolves are kind of bad because they're our enemies. No, she's going to be left alone for a very long time. I mean, maybe until everybody's kind of forgot that she was imprinted upon by a werewolf. Or will they be able to have children? Think of that. Will they be able to have children? We'll never know, because Stephanie Meyer is never going to make that, uh, that book, which I'm glad for, because I don't want to go through the, um, I'm having the baby, and, of course, oh, no, you're having the baby, let's go, oh, get your dad, dad, we need to go, okay, we need to go, Jacob, let's go, I don't want to go, I'm like a, oh, yeah, I don't want to go through that. I don't want to see that. I would rather see that in the Harry Potter movies, where it's like, Harry, Hermione, and their kids. It's like, well, little uh, Albus, I just want to tell you, you're just a great little boy, blah, 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 Doesn't fucking matter. But I'm glad it's over. I really am. 
for those of you out there who love these films, that's fine. I'm I, all the power for you. I don't like them at all, but all the power for you. Um, I will watch them to either pass the time or make fun of them. I'm sorry, I'm a big fan of MST3K, but uh, I just don't like them. Now, there's a lot of movies out there that a lot of people I know absolutely hate, but I love. I, I love the bad movies. Uh, <clears throat> if, you, if you ever get a chance, uh, there's a few out there I'd recommend. Um, Zebra Man, it's not really a bad movie. It's kind of a take on a bad movie. I'd recommend it to anybody. I uh, haven't seen this, the sequel. I really want to watch it. Um, I see it on Amazon all the time, but just got to save up money. Um, another really good bad movie that's out there, <clears throat> for those of you who have not seen it, is The Last Dragon. It's a black exploitation film with Bruce Leroy. Yeah. And show enough, The Shogun of Harlem. Yeah, those are awesome. Uh, good friends of mine uh, went ahead and sat down and watched the whole thing. It was hilarious. Uh, I just, it's something to just sit there and watch and just make fun of. Beyond that, got nothing else for you. I do want to apologize for um, the no comic this week. It's been really busy. Uh, totally forgot last night. Uh, saw how everything was going, but I will let you know next week I will make it up. Uh, there will be a a nice little piece of artwork for everybody who's kind of stuck with me. I want to thank everybody who has uh, really really stuck stuck with the comic. I mean, especially after a long hiatus I've been through. Um, how you've been watching these vids? Uh, if, if, excuse me. If you do like these vids, please let me know. I mean, come on, comment below. I'm more than welcome to take any comment that you have, uh, any insight you have, anything you would like me to see, see me rant upon. Uh, if you have anything you want me to, to watch that you think would be a good thing to rant upon, or any ideas on any of the videos before, please let me know. One of the things I'm thinking about for next video <clears throat> is something very dear and close to my heart. Uh, a show that I've watched many times. I just absolutely love it, and I love to watch it when I feel really, really bad. I I just want to let you know that if it's it's gonna be so much a rant, but more of like a a review rant uh, for everybody who feels that maybe they just need a little bit more looping in their life. Till next time, you guys, all have fun. And, with the new screwdriver, I can go ahead and give you three hams. Three hams will certainly kill him. Three hams. Three hams will kill him. Three hams will kill him.